I'm from the Philippines. And I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix, two countries, one heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica, Chica, Chica update. update. If you're new to this channel, please continue watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Every week we'll be posting a new Chica Chica update at the same time. And don't forget to hit that little bell so you do get notified when we post it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, what's happening? What's the uh, short update? We'll say short because it's only... Yeah, it's going to be a relatively short update. Not a whole lot's been going on, but some kind of cool things have happened. Yeah, that... so I got my job switched to daytime. Finally, my yes. daytime Philippine time. That, that was a huge blessing. Yeah. And it's helping a lot in getting you settled into your your hours and what's going on. And it's kind of a benefit to them too. That way yeah. you could, because you switched over to doing like the reviews before they get submitted. Correct. And so that way when they finish it for the day, they email it to her. Yeah. And she can go over it. And you start at just enough time that if there's a major question or something, you can. And, and then ask it. Ask them. So I think it's going to work out best for everybody. Correct. And we found out you're, this is going to the, when, what part? The last week of February. And our rental was up in uh, the first week of February. Yeah. So we talked with the lady and she's actually pretty cool. Uh, she's helped us get some stuff done. Yeah. And she said that, yeah, that she'd actually love to have us here for, for the next month. Yeah. Uh, so we're probably gonna, well, we have extended the stay until March 9th. Yes. And that actually kind of leads into Mama and Papa. Mama and Papa find a way to go to Bukid Nun. Yay, they're finally working in it. So they're getting the papers. They have already barangay clearance certificate for the three of them. Um, now they're going to uh, Barangay Health or the Barangay Town Center to get mod medical certificate and then they will get travel pass and they will get Barangay COVID shield or whatever, Town COVID shield, whatever <laughs> it is. So we'll let them go first so we they can settle down and have the groundwork and we will just follow them. Yeah, because Mama's really good about uh, getting her way. Yes. And, and so that will give them time to go in and, and there's some squatters on the land and there, there's some issues that do need to be cleared up. Yeah. And I think mama would have a little bit better time handling, do, it. handling it without either one of us there. Cause that way the, the rich OFW daughter and the rich Kano son-in-law don't show up and you know, everybody expect, you know, three times what they were originally going to try and get. Yeah. And so and this will give them a chance to, because it's been quite a while since Mama's been back here to see her family. Yeah, it's like 10 years, 10 years, over 10 years. So this will give her a chance it's to get like back with her family. It's like 2010 something, so 11 years. Also, it's been quite some time. Yeah, so they stopped going there 10 years ago, so yeah. It would be good if they were be going there. And also that, uh, That'll give them a chance to see about finding a, uh, a decent place to rent for, for everybody. Yeah. Uh, possibly seeing about getting it some internet set up so that yeah. if this job does get, and that's the other thing, we'll know a lot more whether or not this job is going to continue okay. after this. Yeah. And yeah, if it, if it looks like it's going to continue, then it'll give them a chance to try and set up internet and all that good stuff so that you wouldn't have to really even miss a beat. Uh, and that'll give a few, that'll give another month for things that start mellowing out, hopefully not be quite as much paperwork to go, but if it does, we'll have the time to get the paperwork. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, you may notice I got a hat again. Yeah. Oh, I we had, celebrated our... Yeah, we celebrated our anniversary. Our sixth wedding. Our sixth wedding anniversary was Friday the 15th. Yep. And we went out to... Acacia Steakhouse. Yep. Uh, it was a really nice little steakhouse here in Cebu City. Uh, I had a, 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 a 
pretty good steak. It was a uh, ribeye. Uh, yeah, uh, a boneless ribeye. There was a uh, one. It was half kilo. It was a half kilo. It was about a, uh, about a full pound. Yeah. And you had a black pepper steak. The hers was actually a way better flavor. Yeah. Uh, and, and considerably less expensive. Yeah, five hundred forty. That's like. Eleven bucks. Yeah, because mine, mine was. One thousand eight hundred fifty. It's a good thing I got an account with me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was about a thirty forty dollar steak. Yes. Uh, but it, but like I say, it was really good. It was a decent cut. It was kind of like a high end sizzler cut. Yes. You know that it definitely wasn't a good steakhouse cut. But yeah. it was flavored well and it was cooked perfectly that, that was the big thing because uh rare meat is exceptionally unusual here here in the philippines because it's always well done yeah the the, the filipinos uh that, that it's got to be burnt within uh 30 seconds of tearing into charcoal yeah but most of their meat is probably just well it is cooked that way yeah so i believe this is australian beef that they were using though But we enjoyed, and afterwards we went to uh, Ayala Mall. Yeah, get some souvenirs. We're in New Log. We get t-shirts. Yeah, because Sinalog was kind of Sunday. Well, Sinalog was Sunday, but yeah. uh, with everything going on, that it really wasn't celebrated this year. The mass parties just didn't happen. Uh, there was one or two fireworks displays that we saw a part of from the balcony. Mm -mm. But it was kind of disheartening. Yeah. Because uh, Sinalog is normally a huge festival here. Correct. Uh, yeah, rooms are, uh, hotel rooms are booked a year in advance for it. Yeah, I know. It's, it, it, it's every bit as big, if not bigger, than, than Mardi Gras is in the U.S. Uh, so yeah, and we're going to have to see what happens next year. Correct. And Sunday we have. Sunday we went down to. Friends. We went down to uh, some friends of ours, uh, amazing Philippines, that he invited us. That periodically there's a small group, uh, two, three other couples that get together, yeah. and we'll, we'll just kind of have an expat dinner. Yeah. And we had a really cool dinner that, that his girlfriend made a really nice fixings. Yeah. Uh, and of course it was fish, so they were happy, and rice. Seafood, of course, shrimp and calamari. We uh, love them. But they were actually breaded, more like uh, an, an American style yeah. instead of the. Yeah. The fish was just grilled, but the the. The fish was baked. Oh, baked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the the shrimp and calamari was breaded more like an American style. It was really good. That they they was all really good, uh, and of course they had fried chicken. Yay. <laughs> Got to include the white guy's flavors. True. Uh, afterwards, it, uh, the guys all went out to the uh, patio and you know, we kind of talked and the girls stayed in and had their little chica chica. Girls chica chica. Yep. And I guess they're going to be doing it here again in the next few weeks. We don't know yet. Bye. And that it's just an ongoing event. It's not a regularly ongoing event. So it just kind of happens when... When available or when are available. So. Yeah. Because... Uh, there was amazing Philippines and I that uh, he's well, another American expat. Yeah. Uh, there was a Canadian expat that got here a little bit before we did, but right about the same time frame. Like October or something. Yeah, I think he said it was late September, early oh, October. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we got here early October. Um, and an Australian. And an Australian that came in. Yeah. And that he's been here for three three years. Two years. Uh, and so it was kind of a neat time, and we had a lot of fun. Yep. And that brings us up to that's it. today. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much for watching. But that's it. Enjoy. Mabuhai. Ma